Developing this morning, just days after a violent attack on the red line, the CTA is out with some new security measures at its rail stations. Eric is live at the 95th Street Red Line station with the details. Eric. Well, good morning. The CTA as well as CPD have been trying a number of different things to try and get a handle on the violence to try and at least curb it for all those who ride the train. The woman behind the camera is Tashawn Terry. She was on the 95th Red Line train when this attack happened early Sunday morning. Just before the attack, you see the two suspects come up to a man sitting on the train, reach into his pockets, take whatever they can, including a bottle of wine. The man does try and get his stuff back, but then is hit with the bottle and instantly starts bleeding. Is this really happening? Like, I never seen no one ever in my life get hit in the face with a bottle. The CTA has been working with the CPD to try and increase safety on trains. Both agencies say they have added patrols of both officers and unarmed security workers as well as canine units. We've in increased our uh, manpower with the CTA for the public transit details, so I think we're doing pretty good. Terry, who didn't want us to show her on camera, doesn't think so. She says she relies on the train and so far hasn't noticed any real changes. I wanted people to be aware of how dangerous it is riding the CTA at night. Like there's like no one to protect anyone. In another step to try and increase safety throughout its train system, the CTA says it has finished installing cameras in each attendant booths at all 146 rail stations. The cameras would not have captured the attack last Sunday morning, but each booth will now have a monitor that offers live feeds from that station's security cameras, which will allow them to see what's happening in real time. There is now a reward being offered for any information that will lead to the arrest and conviction of those two suspects that were involved in that Sunday morning attack. We are live at the 95th Red Line Station. I'm Eric Rock, WGN News.